Hey there, it's David Williamson from the ToyCarCollector.com. Got an exciting video for you today, my longest video to date. This video today is the Two Brothers Redline Collection. The date is June 10th, 2015. Now the Two Brothers Redline Collection is a really fabulous collection that belonged to two brothers growing up. And their parents, every time they bought something for one brother, bought the same or tried to buy the same exact car for the other brother. So this large collection features five cases. I guess that uh, they didn't get the one case for both brothers. But the uh, they both brothers got a Mongoose and Snake 72 car case. Now the 72 car case is the case with the six trays in it. Six trays of 12 cars. And they also both had the flat 48 case. That's the adjustable case that you can put 48 cars in. So these kids had two cases, two fabulous cases, plus track and supercharger. So this is one amazing collection. I'm going to go through that entire collection for you as I open the Two Brothers Redline collection. Now, if you have any questions, you can reach me, David Williamson. You can call or text 503-956-3708. Now, you will have to leave a message because pretty much every person in the United States is trying to call me to ask a question about Hot Wheels that they found in their garage. And most of those Hot Wheels, 99 and 9 tenths percent of the time, are brand new Hot Wheels that they stole from their kids. So anyway, give me a call at 503-956-3708, call or text. You can email me, david at toycarcollector.com. That's david at toycarcollector. And be sure to stop by my website for all the fabulous toys that I have. Take a look around and see what else. Now remember, I also have a website called redlinecollector.com. So let's take a look here real quick. See if you can see that. Can you see that? That's toycarcollector.com on the internet. And we're looking at an iPad. And you can see that I keep that updated. We've got the monthly catalog for June 2015. Now you can pick Hot Wheels. You can pick newer Hot Wheels, which is 77 and newer. Matchbox, which I, I specialize in Matchbox. I also have some Johnny Lightnings. And then I've got some other interesting items over here that I also like. I don't get too many of these, but I got the Aurora, the Corgi, the dealer promos. Well, I love those dealer promos. Husky models, Lindbergh, Lone Star, Siku, Slot Cars, Tomika, anything else, and stamp collection. Well, you can ask me about that later, but I do like to collect stamps. Now, to see what's brand new or recent, just click on the What's New page. That will take you right over to the What's New page where I feature everything that I've added to the list. So like if you take a look here on June 12th, I added uh, Scorchers, six of those, and I added some Huskies, nine of those, and those like sold the next morning for the most part. And June 11th, there we got Woody Wagons and everything, and Red Barons, and June 6th, I had a little space in there because I was just so darn busy, but I'd like to, I'd like to put something up every day if I can. I just got this 165 car collection in, so a lot of that will be going up soon. I got Matchbox. I love Matchbox, especially the older ones with the gray wheels. And I got a big collection of Matchbox coming in on Monday, about 50 pieces in boxes. It's supposed to be real nice. And I got a lot more, but I've got Johnny Lightnings. I've got all kinds of fun stuff. It's really great around here at the Toy Car Collector. So come on down to toycarcollector.com. Now, without further ado, or maybe with a little more ado... We will start up the opening of the Giant Collection. All right, here's the two boxes from UPS that just came in rolling in. I did tell this customer to go ahead and sell me his track. So I said, yeah, let's get the track too. Usually I try not to get a whole bunch of tracks because everybody got it. But let's take a look inside here. I think it was packed by the UPS store. Pretty expensive to get the UPS store to pack your boxes, but it does turn out very nicely. And here is the packing peanuts. Yeah, there's good value there. I always use packing peanuts. Let's see. Oh, look at all the bubble wrap. That's nice. Look at that. All right. This is a double supercharger. And this one is. There's a single supercharger in here. All 
right, let's put that over here. Now my wife tells me I say all right a lot, so I gotta find some new words for all right. Okay, good enough. Very good. Excellent. Stuff like that. There's some track. Look at all this track. Wow. All right. All right, there I go. Man, it's just natural. I can't sit up in all right. All right, okay. Excellent. Very nice. Sweet. I'm going to make myself a list of all the words I can say. Oh, it's so repetitive. I love these quarter turns. Is that a quarter turn, half turn, full turn? Let's see, they call it a full curve. Yeah, full curve, half curve. And then there's, I think, a quarter curve. It's in pretty good shape. Can't really, don't have time to really look them over right now, but they look like in pretty good shape. There's a lot of good track in here. Yeah, put these in my track box. Now this is one of the most popular items, a little dusty, but it's a dual lane start gate, so you can start your snake and mongoose race. It's a little dusty, but that'll clean up real nice. I don't think I have one of these right now. In fact, I think I might need one. My grandson has a six lane race track. It's pretty cool. And, of course, he has all the Hot Wheels he could possibly ever want. And look at that. Oh, look at this. Yes, yes, yes. There's some big old dual lane corners. I love those. I love those. Good, good. Next time my grandson comes over, we will definitely get those out. Get some sizzlers out. Got a big old bunch of track down in there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. All right. Nope. That's it, but nice big box of peanuts. I don't need those for a while. Well, let's back it up here. I'm going to pause and go over to the other box. All right, we're at the other box now. The reason I usually tell people not to send me the track is I'm kind of a clean freak, so I got to wash everything. I got to wash cases, wash track, wash cars. I got to wash everything. And that takes a lot of time. So, don't. Try not to get too much track. That's a lot of cleaning, but you know, it's kind of hot outside and it'll be fun to go outside. Now look at this. This is something you don't see every day. Look at that. Two snake and mongoose cases at one time. It's always nice to get one. It's even better to get two. So you can tell this one's got a rusty clip on the top. It looks pretty good so far. I'm pulling it out. Yeah, look at this. Here's another one. This one's got a little staining on it. Never know how much, how they look when you clean them up. Now, if you're going to clean your cases, make sure you use Simple Green. That's the best for that. Oh, look, here's a 12 car case. I always like this one with the mantis and the swingy wing. Hey, what do you know? There's, that's not all. Here's more. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Two 48 car cases, flat cases. These are great. I love these kind of cases. Just love them. They are great. All right, let's pull those out. That, that is something you don't see every day. That many cases. But this collection belonged to a fellow and his brother. And his parents bought them each a Hot Wheel. I guess once a week or every time they were good or something. And if that's the case, they must have been really, really good because there's a bunch of them. Okay, I'm going to pause and then pull these cases out. Okay, now I've got the cases out on the couch. Look at that. I just have to step back for a moment and just take a look at that because you don't see that every day. Two 72 car cases, two 48 car cases, and a 12 car case. That's really nice. It's like a birthday. In fact, on my birthday last year, I got half a case of blister packs from a local fella. That was really nice. So let's take a look inside here and see what we got. Oh, yes. Look at that. I usually instruct my sellers to wrap everything up. Now, this case is empty, so we'll just put that over here. Wrap everything up. That way I can make my video unwrapping things. Now, you didn't have to wrap up the sizzler. So let's just take a peek here. It's a bunch of sizzlers in here. Oh, my battery power is low. All right, there we go. Nice sizzlers, pretty good. Let's see, is there anything special in the sizzlers bunch? Pink is always good. Some nice wheels on this one. A lot of times I'll swap some wheels around, but that's pretty nice. Typically I don't clean up sizzlers anymore. I just 
I just sell them as is, like this, wipe them off, and uh, try to keep them away from the other cars because they can damage your other cars. And uh, we'll look in there. Let's take a quick look in here and see what's in here. And um, so it's just a couple of things in this case. I think the other case has more things in it. Let's take a look here in the other case. All right, there is a lot more things over there. All right, this is good. So we'll start opening these up in just a few minutes. I think I need to charge up the phone first because uh, I am using a phone. Galaxy Note 4. As a matter of fact, the Galaxy Note has been a good series of phones. If you're thinking about getting a phablet, which means a very large phone, it's great for us older people who can barely see without our reading glasses on. And let's just pull out a couple of these. So the Galaxy Note 4 takes the best pictures. Note 3 takes great pictures. And then the Note 1 does not. Note 1 and 2, they're not that great. So we've got a red Torero right in there. It's going to be a lot of uh, good average cars in this collection. There's a couple of, couple of real neat cars. So many cars, though. That really makes it nice. Got a blue cab in there. Well, let's take a look here. Oh, okay, we got another cab. I think the uh, the real winner in the there's a couple of beach bombs in the case in the lot, and uh, also a Ferrari 312P. I mean 512P actually. Ah, look at there's a red Woody. In fact, I was just working on Woody's today. They've been real popular lately. Real popular. This one's nice. Just needs a little wheel straightening. It's pretty clean. No toning really. Maybe a couple of spots. But pretty nice. And uh, oh, look at that. There's, now that's not a great car there, obviously. Yeah, you got a little play on that. A lot of play. But there's a few of those. Not too many in the collection, I think. I'll pull out a few more of these. And I got to get back to work for a bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Red Baron. Every collection comes with one. Pretty average condition, that'll clean up nice. And yeah, just a good all around, not too expensive car. Oh, we got a beach bomb. Well, let's take a close look here. How are we on our focus? Oh, that's pretty good. Got two yellow boards, hopefully the other one has two uh, orange boards. I think there's another one. That's in good shape. That one wheel cap there is dark, but we can swap that out, no problem. Yeah, it looks like all the wheel caps are dark. We can swap all of those out. Let's look at that. Usually you got to watch these uh, on the roof. A lot of times you'll have a crack. I've seen several lately that had a big old hole in the front windshield. I don't know how they did that, but you don't want that. That's a good beach bomb. It's a good one. Most, uh, most collectors would be happy with a beach bomb in that condition. Once the wheels are swapped out and the boards are corrected, it's got a little car. All right, let's finish this whole tray here. Then I'll go back to work. I get back out here later this evening and do this. Ah, look at that. That's just a black wall. Black wall, black wall, everything uh, made after 1977 has the black wall tires. And some of them they made in both the red stripes and the black walls. But that's a whole different collecting genre. All right. This is the worst of the two Camaros. As you can see, it's got a bent down cowl. Got scraped up pretty good too, but look at that. That's too bad. Look at that. That one's been outside a bit in the dirt. That one has been in the dirt, but it managed to get back in the house somehow and not get lost forever. I think we'll just list that one just, just like it is. And somebody else can have some fun with that. Now what do we got here? Here's a Corvette. Custom Corvette. Olive. Nice. Pretty good shape. Yeah, good all around shape. That's a nice car. Put that over there. All right, one more. I'm gonna go, oh, look at that. That's a pretty color. That is a pretty color. That's the nice thing about getting a lot of Hot Wheels, like I do, is you get to find a lot of different shades of colors and whatnot. Otherwise, yeah, when you collect a lot of stuff, it's it's hard to you know, really focus on something. Now, if you just like Twin Mills, for instance, and you just watch every Twin Mill sale, on eBay or something, or watch my site, you can find a lot of colors. And dark and light. I think it's dark interior and light interior. This one's dark. But uh, that one, just the wheels are a little bit tweaked. Wipe that off, that'll be a nice little car. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back at it, looking at the collection. Here's an iced tea. That one's in good shape. Got a nice roof on it. Got a few of these lately. 
But uh, look, it's in good shape on both sides, so that'll be a good one. Uh, not mint, of course, but it's a good car. We'll put that over there. I'm gonna put these sizzlers aside. And yeah, let's go ahead and just get into this case over here. I think the cars in this case are probably better than the cars in this case. So let's jump around a little bit, maybe. I think I'm gonna jump over here. And what do we find? Oh, Rolls Royce. Every collection's got one. Usually gray with a black interior. It's got some nice wheels on it. This is in really good shape. For some reason, people didn't really play with the Rolls Royce. So we'll put that over there. Grab another one. So many cars in here, it's just crazy. Oh, Ford Mark IV. That one in the Lola GT70 and green enamel are the least popular cars of all time. Everybody's got a dozen of them. And let's see what's next one. There is another Rolls Royce. This collection is unique in that it belonged to two brothers. And those two brothers were very good. And they got cars every so often. And when they did, they tried to, parents tried to get them both the same thing. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a nice heavy Chevy. It's got original stripes on it. A little scratched up on the front from rubbing on something. But uh, other than that, it looks good. White interior, which makes a real nice car. Let's see, why don't we... This is kind of an ugly background. Let's change this. Let's go like this. Let's put this back up. Let's take some of these trays out. Put them up here. Let's take all the trays out. Put them up there. And put these snake and mongoose cases as our background. Let's see how that works out. Turn it around. Oops, that's dirty on that side. Let's not do that. Let's go like that. How about that? Let's try that. Okay, got my hand out there. Nice. Here we go. Okay, this is a later model, 74 to 77. Buzz off. Otherwise, AKA the Tri Baby from earlier days. And let's see here. All right, here's a good one. Oh, this one's nice. Evil Weevil. And that one's in good shape. Green. Looks like the wheels are good. Always check the wheels. You never know when you might get a bad one. But this one's got old... Oh, dear. It's always something. Look at that. Can you see that? There's something on those wheels. Looks like silver paint. Now, that will come off. Those wheels can become, come off. You could probably switch them. There might be a little bit on the body there, but that's not too bad. So that's I'm gonna put that in the better, the better cars. Put that in the back row. And then we got the really bad cars. Put that on the arm of the chair. All right, this one feels like a Woody wagon. No, nope, it's a paddy wagon. All right, every collection's got a paddy wagon in it, of course. And here we go with a Corvette, another olive Corvette. Like I said before, this, cor this collection has a lot of two of the sames in it, which makes it rather interesting, because you get two of the same. All right, let's see, here we go, and another beach bomb. Let's see, let's look closely at the windows, and we have good windows all around, no boards. But this one's in very good shape. I'm gonna put that in the very good car row. So now I've got two cars in the very good car row. Right. I'm going to tip this tray over. I have trouble getting these out. These plastic trays are... They always got to watch these. That They will crack on the bottom. Some of these will break, but this is in good shape. I really like that. All right, let's see what we got here. Here we got a Vicky. Yeah, about average condition. Aqua. Put that over there. And here... Oh, a oh, pack and pacer. For an early 80s or late 70s car, it's pack and pacer. It was pretty popular. It's not a real big deal, though. Here's an Indy car. Indy cars are not really very popular just because nobody really needs a lot of them. It's not like a Camaro where you like to get every Camaro you get your hands on. Speaking of Camaro, here's a Firebird. It's a nice, it's a nice Firebird. Dashboard's intact. Got a couple of necks on it. That's a decent car. Nice car. We'll put that in the nice car row. Those are the ones we'll look at more closely later. Here's a light green Porsche 917. I'm going to move over here just a little bit, get a little better light. And uh, that one's in good shape. Uh, it's okay. It's got a lot of toning. Base is dark. Uh, but average condition. I think I'll come back. Okay. Let's see, do I need to open the blind a little to get a little more light? I think we're good. Okay, we're going to go with this amount of light. All right. 
Power pad. That one's in good shape. It's got the top. Chrome's in good shape. I'll go with that. Put that in the better than average cars, and that'll make four good cars. The Rolls Royce. Aqua. It does come with the darker white interior. White interior looks better to some people, including myself. Here's a Ford J car from 1968. All right. And here's a hot heap. This is the uh, anti, not really the antifreeze color. This is the lime color. Lime is a little brighter than the antifreeze. Antifreeze kind of, the reason they call it that is because it kind of looks like antifreeze. All right, here's a red ambulance. Would love to have a mint one of these with a bright shiny base, but this one's pretty good. And it's an ambulance and it's red and I like it. Okay, let's see, we're digging over there. Whoops, earthquake. And here is another IndyCar, Brabham Repco, 69. Alphabetically, the first car of the year. All right, here is a Chrome Boss Haas, the 1970. You had to mail away for this car, so sometimes people take better care of it than others. So this one's going to go in the very good cars, in the very good condition section of this collection. Here's a 1968 Custom T-Bird. Decent shape. I like it. It's not bad. Put that, we'll put that in the pretty good cars. All right, here we are. Swinging wing. Some people like them. Some people don't. But usually the people that don't like a particular car never saw a lot of good ones. Because if you see a lot of good any Hot Wheel, you will love it. And there's the Custom Eldorado in blue, and that one's in good shape. Got a couple of big spots on it. There's a big spot right there. Little spot there. But hey, can't complain too much. I like to complain, but not too much. Here's the Light My Firebird, and that one's not, that one's nice. Oops, a little corrosion in there. That's what happens when you get too close to a Sizzler's, and you get that acid in there. It's not bad though, that'll probably clean out. That'll still look nice. I'll put that in the good car aisle. All right, here's a Salmon Harry Holler from 1971. Salmon is a great color. I'll be able to get all these cars cleaned up tomorrow, hopefully. Get all the dust off. Put them outside in the warm summer sun to dry. Oh, there's a nice car. Aqua Nitty Gritty Kitty. Big toning spot across there a lot of toning on the sides still a nice car but nothing like it when it was new these cars were fantastic when they were new so beautiful probably some of the most beautiful things in the world here's an orange beatnik bandit in very good shape orange is actually a tough color on the beatnik bandit i think the one in my collection still has a couple of dings on it this one's got they always get a little rub on the window they always get a little rub on the front nose. They got all these sharp points on the front that easily rubbed. I don't like my I like my cars to have a mirror shiny base, but this one's at least decent. So that's a nice car. Put that in the nice car row. How many we got over there now? I've got a half dozen. All right, here's another Firebird. Firebird. This time with a white interior. So that's a nice car. Put that over in the nice car row. Oh, I think we got ten cars in the nice car row now. Can't see it over there, but oh, here's another Sizzler. Here is another Sizzler. Oh, something's gotten on it. It's good shape. Nice looking. Hey, got to watch what I'm doing there. Look at that. That's really nice. I'll put that over here with the Sizzlers. And uh, here we go. Oh, I was looking forward to this one. I really was. And it's, it's nice. It's a nice shade of brown. Not as minty as I'd like, but it's a nice car. I'm going to keep it. It's brown, light brown. There's a lot of dark browns, I think. I'm not sure. Sometimes I get confused. So many colors to remember. So I really like that one. I'm going to set that right there. I really like that one. I thought there were like four cars that I thought were looked really nice in the collection. This was a big shame. 21. Somebody wanted to make this into a race car. You got a little Sharpie, a little 21. And there it goes. Now you got an inexpensive Mustang now. Very nice. What the heck? 
All right, here's an orange custom AMX. That's from the year 1969. The custom AMX. Sometimes known as a Javelin. I'm not really sure what the deal is on the Javelin versus custom AMX. Oh, here's a good one. I thought it was orange, but uh, let's take a closer look. Yep, it is orange. It's an orange heavy Chevy. Looks a little brownish, but it's orange. All right, we're going to put that over there. Yeah, let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, we got all kinds of time. Whoops. Here's a brown Vicky. Brown Vicky. That's not very good shape. Well, I mean, actually, it's in good shape, but it just is ugly because it has a lot of toning. Can't really see it. I'm going to move over to a better light. Be right back. Yeah, let's try this. I like this spot. This is the best light in the house. Hey, look at that. Purple bug. Purple bug. That'll clean up pretty good. The window's in place. It's nice. I always like purple bugs. The more the merrier. And I know there's a couple of school buses in here. That's Those are good. There's a dump truck. Dump trucks. Some people like to collect heavy weights just by themselves and have like every color. And that's a neat deal. They look really great. When you get a whole bunch of them together, they look really great. Here's a Dodge Charger. And this one for a red. This is very nice for a red. It's a little dusty, but it's got a couple small spots, but it's actually real nice for a red. It's got not too much toning on it, really. I like that. That's a nice car. Put that over there. That bug's nice, too. Sometimes you can take a little Dremel and shine up the top of the motor and make it look a little better. Oh, look at that. Blue. You know, I get a lot of blue Continentals, but this particular one has a nice color to it. It's got a nice rich blue to it. Really nice. Yeah, that's a nice car. That yeah, looks good. That'll look good on a resume. All right. Uh-oh. As the dreaded, look at that right there. That's the dreaded crumbling effect where the metal is just on its way to heck. And it's bubbled up and you can feel it. That one's going to crumble at some point. It's still good at this point. It's bubbled up at the front. Some cracks there. You can always just take this part off and put it on another one because the part's in very good shape. But that bottom is, is on its way out, sadly. But the part is good. And if you have another color, oh, look at that. I always like these. These are great. That's a good one. I've seen a couple of those in this collection, and I was looking forward to that. So it's good for me, good for you, good for everyone. Look at that. School bus, all the stickers on it, all the original stickers. I have a friend of mine in Australia who wants a school bus. Hey, look at that. You know, I don't know if kids did this from stepping on it. I don't know if this kind of metal bends, but take a look here. Can you see that? The base is bent. Now I got one other one like that, or I think I might have I sold it because I think I've sold every one I had, but this is bent. Can you bend a base by stepping on it? Is that how that works? Pushing on it? I don't know. A little bent, but still looks nice. So I won't, won't be too upset. There's a good knit TNT bird in green. I got a whole lot of TNT birds. TNT bird. Oh, there's a apple green or light green sand crab. All right, sand crabs used to be super popular, but they're kind of quiet these days. Swing and wing, those aren't very popular at all. You get a lot of, yellow ones get a lot of weird spots and whatnot. Oh, here's a good one. There we go. That's the nice thing about buying collections. You know, you get some good stuff, you get some bad stuff. The bed cover's a little loose, but... This is in good shape. It's got the half-painted base. Sometimes they paint the front and the back. Sometimes they're kind of unpainted on top. But uh, for an orange, a little, lot of toning on there, but it's in good shape. Don't complain too much about that one. That's a good one. Let's see what's in here. There's a wheel popping around in the case. That's a moving van back. And I always appreciate when people wrap up the cars like this. It's real nice makes the cars come in nicely and makes it fun to unwrap. I love unwrapping collections. You can do it every day. All right, there's a red one, just needs a little cleaning. Now we'll be cleaning all of these cars very carefully, very carefully in my secret ways of doing it. 
maybe a, you know, now that I think about it, maybe an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner would be the way to go. You could just put the car in there for a few minutes and it would do whatever that is that ultrasonic does and you pull out a mint refreshed Hot Wheel. Well, maybe in my dreams. Whoops. I don't think it works that way. So a little soap and water, you get the water off right away. A little dish soap. I'll just take a car like this, I'll just dunk it right in the dish soap and take a little brush and clean out the inside, rinse it out and then shake it out real good and dry it off and maybe take it out to the compressor and blow, it, blow out the water and then either take it outside where the sun, summer sun dries it or put it over the heater vent, let the heat of the house warm. Here's a green 4J car and that one's in good shape. A little sticky stuff residue on there, but I think that's going to come off. This is going to be a nice car right here. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's got a little pink mark on it. Probably indicated which brother belonged it to. But did I just say belonged it to? Oh boy. All right. Yellow snake. Kind of low on snakes right now. It's a good one. Snakes are harder than mongooses to get. And this one is in good shape. It's too bad. It's just got the one stripe on there. I guess I don't know. I could put a stripe kit on it, a new one. See what's new. Oh yeah, here's one I was looking forward to. This is, this really is what I thought was the nicest car in the collection. And there are two of them. A red Ferrari 312, Ferrari 512 I should say, from the year 1972. So it's late in the season for Hot Wheels. And that's why they typically are in much better shape than the early ones. Although the 73 Hot Wheels are usually in pretty bad shape. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we're in good shape here. Look at that. That's a beautiful racing team. And the white cab. There we go. Bingo. That's a winner. Put that in the winner pile. Right there. I win. All right. Gold TNT bird. Or, I mean, custom T bird. 1968. That's a nice one. Good shape. It's got the pink mark on it. It's the other brother. All right. Oh, look at this one. This one's good. Eh, it's got some sticky residue on it. That's going to have to get cleaned off there. But the shape is decent. Yeah, I don't have too many of those right now. I like to have everything in stock for everybody, whoever needs it. Another Boss Haas, also in very good shape. It's a little dusty, really. Very nice. Of course, that chrome doesn't really take too much abuse, usually. It's just the stripes that take abuse on a Boss Hoss. And here is another dumpy truck. Dumping truck. Aqua. I like the variety of colors they have on these. These are both the same, but they have a variety of colors. They have sort of an orange bed. They have this yellow bed. An orange bottom. Got a, lot, a lot of variety. You can mix and match. Iced tea again. And this is a better one than the other, so this is good. I'm fresh out of iced tea, so this will be handy to have. I don't really collect the 71s much anymore, except the old 442 and the classic cord. Still have those. Oh, pit crew. Look at that. I've been wanting a nice pit crew, and guess what? Here it is. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Oh, and a very nice on top. I'd like a white interior in mint. Maybe a blister pack pole would be nice, but I don't have one right now. All right, yes, these are all coming out of a 48 car case, flat case. Oh dear, you would hate to see your collection show up and all look like this one. But this one got drugged through the mill, the twin mill. No, oh, it is the twin mill. All right, we don't really count those when we're looking at a collection. And there's a Lotus Turbine, don't really count those either. Chaparrales. Chaparrales. Oh, I love gold chaparrales, and here's one. Numbers are coming off. Got a little wear around the front. Otherwise, it's very pretty. I think I'll leave the numbers on, though. If they're upside down. They got 99. It's supposed to be 66. Got the original spoiler on it. Oh, there's where that wheel came from. A lot of times, these wheels crack in half, and then you have to put a new one on. Look at that. Oh, that's smoking. Hmm, too bad about that top sticker. There's always something. That's why collecting Hot Wheels is so much fun. So challenging. This is always something. Very rarely do you get perfection. 
unless you have blister packs or something. You know, everything has something. Like this one, it looks first glance, that's perfect. Check the wheels, pretty good. Yeah, I think they're fine. A little bit of discoloration in here. Just didn't get the stripe on quite perfectly, but so it's always just a little something. So then there's always another one that's a little better. Maybe it has a perfect stripe, but then it has a spot. Oh no. Not, and then here you got a bike. Oh, it's missing the piece on the top. So it's got a good rider on it. Put his little hands back. I think he's the right rider. It might be the wrong rider. He might be the right rider. I'll check it out later. Put him in there. Always a little something extra in there. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is nothing. That's just a nothing there. We don't want that. Okay, here's another Indy car. I think that's the end of this particular case. Another Brabham Repco in green. All right, let's see. Is there anything in the bottom of this case? There's a uh, wheelie wheels, nice. Uh, there's a Shelby sticker, and there's some moon eyes, and there's a little mini wheel. So we'll find that when we clean out that case. Oh, this fuel tanker. All right, look at that. Oh, no, like I said, it's always something. Look how beautiful that is. It's, it's beautiful, it's almost perfect. Nice stickers, nice color on top. But look at that, the loose back loose ax back axle is loosey-goosey. And that happens because the axles are actually embedded in a plastic tray that goes down the center and then is ri attached with the rivet points. But the uh, axles don't stay in there because they didn't get them they didn't get them deep enough into the plastic and so we have that run into that issue. Here's a Mongo rail dragster. This rail dragster is very nice. They must have got a set and never put the stickers on and probably never played with it because it's real nice. It's very nice. I thought the dragsters looked like they would be pretty nice. Here's a white one. I like that. That's nice. It goes good with a set. I've got a couple of sets I need to put back together. And here's another mongoose. I haven't had any of these for a while. At least I've got a few in the back somewhere in the stuff. So much stuff. Okay, and let's see what else is in this case. Uh, dust, dirt, and a track connector. All right, we're back to the snake and mongoose cases now. And here I am, don't go away. There's still more. Nice olive. Oh, too bad. Look at that. Like I say, always something. You know, first impression is like, wow, that's nice. It's got great color. Really great color. You know, from the side, perfect. From the top, got a big ding. Big owie. Owie. All right, Cougar. Blue US Cougar. Got the wrong wheel on the front. But other than that, it's good. It's a standard. Go. Oh, got a broken hood pin. Decent color. Decent cougar. All right. Good. Here's a purple nomad. This is in good shape. It'll look a lot better when it's cleaned up. But I had a pink nomad last week, and I cleaned it up, and it looked worse once I got done. Here's a 73. It's an enamel light blue. First impression is it looks pretty good, but it's got some something on it. It's got a little something on it. Maybe some sticky stuff. A little haze. Feels rough. I don't know what that is. Don't want to agitate it too much, though. And that back axle is bent. It's loose. Side to side. Loose. It's kind of like that other car. It has a little plastic tray that it sits in. And when that gets disturbed, then... You have loose wheels. All right, purple Barracuda. Barracuda seem very hard to get these days. I would love to have a mint purple with purple interior. Now I may have one, I may not, I don't know. I may have one somewhere. All right, here's the orange 36 Ford Coupe. That's missing a wheel right at the moment, but we'll put another one back on there, it'll be fine. It's got good color. Overall condition is about average. Got a little rough spot on the back. And let's see here. Muttmobile. Got a bunch of these right now. Muttmobile. It's a neat car. 
Too bad they seem to only make it in aqua and blue for some reason. I don't know why. Because I think it's really pretty in like yellow and red. And there's a red baron. And there's a blue silhouette. There's a ton of blue silhouettes out there. A lot of times I just take the wheels off of silhouettes and put them on other better cars. And then I have silhouettes with no wheels. Or I put reproduction wheels on them. There's a peeping bomb. Lime. Kind of a hard color to get that clean. Base is somewhat shiny. It's actually a pretty good car. Let's see, the wheels are good. Let's see if it has orange headlights. Nope. You ever check that? Orange headlights? No, nope. chrome headlights. It's actually a pretty nice car. Yeah. It's got a good color. That's got good color. Good color. Here's a purple Diora. That's in there. It was in there. Now it's in there. It's still in there. Something. Here's a blue Mighty Maverick. That's a good color. A nice spoiler on the back. That's a good car. Like that. Here is a red Lola GT70. Again, this is this one and the green enamel Ford Mark IV. So many of them. Every collection has a couple of them. Here's another nitty gritty kitty. Again, aqua. Decent shape. I like decent shaped cars. But I really like mint cars. So typically when I'm looking to buy cars for myself, I try to find blister packs that I can open. And uh, you can't do that very much, unfortunately. Look at that. That's got beautiful color. Hood's a little darker than the rest, but that's got nice color on top. Isn't that pretty? Lime. Is that the same? It's kind of the same as... Peeping bomb, but slightly a different shade. You know, sometimes these can get confused with yellow, but they're not yellow. Here's a yellow. You see the difference there? Yeah, hold it in just the right light. You can see it's a couple of, this one in the middle almost, you know, could be confused for yellow, but you know, a true yellow is, it's a horse of a different co color. Horse of a different color. Alright, another tray. It's too bad I have to open these all today, but I do. I gotta open them all today. Alright, green. Green. I'm, that's a, that is dusty. That's very dusty. And yeah, we'll get that cleaned up. It's got, it does have a crack in the top. So, you always have to point that out when you have a car for sale. If you have a car for sale and there's a crack in the top, make sure you let people know. Here's another Olive 57 Bird. I need to restock my 57 Birds. Here's a Diora with some surfboards on it, which we can take off of this Diora and put on the Beach Bomb. And just like that. And uh, a couple of nice, four nice wheels. But this is, eh, it's a pretty good Beach Bomb. Steering wheel is not in place as they almost never are. They fall off and roll around inside the car. Here's a Carabo. A lot of toning on that one. We'll just put that aside. Let's see where we're at in this process. We're at about 28 minutes. Of... Oh, look at that. Hmm, corrosion all over the front of this otherwise stunning red Barracuda. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's terrible. That was sitting under, that had to have been sitting under a sizzler to get that much corrosion on it. That's a real shame. That was a beautiful car in its day. Here's another disaster. Poor thing. That would have been a beautiful car. Look at that. It's purple U.S. custom Barracuda. Oh my gosh, look how shiny that motor is under there. It's got that corrosion on there and there. Wheels are bent real bad. Yeah, that's that's a real crying shame right there. That would have been a that would have been a beautiful car. Two and they're both Barracudas. Hmm. Snake one, 1970, the Snake One. Snake ones are harder to get than the mongoose ones. For whatever reason. Second school bus. This one's not bent. Uh, missing the uh, ladder bar. 
that's what you get when you buy collections. You come up missing a few things here and there. Might be in the box, though. You never know. Always have to keep that in mind when you're making an offer on a collection. There you go. It's a bunch of stuff here. Not to mention that uh, when you do buy a collection, you, you know, normally it's best to buy collections that have a lot of cars that you need if you're just collecting for yourself because it's a lot of work to sell off the extra cars. Believe me. Look at that. Hey, there's another purple no Nomad, and this one's very nice. That one's going to shine up nice. You can polish a Hot Wheel a little bit if you want. I recommend Zymol, Z-Y-M-O-L. All right, and we're back with another orange fleet side, and this one's nice. No painted base on this one, but it's nice. Decent, I should say. Don't want to get too carried away. All right. The table's starting to get full. Oh, I was looking forward to this one, and this one does not disappoint. Yep, there were like four cars that I was really looking forward to in the collection just because of their color. One of them was that, one of them was this. You can see how pretty these are together. Nice brown and a beautiful rose python. That is really a beauty. Somehow that one escaped all damage. And that one is a beauty. These two are the most beautiful two of the collection. I'm going to set these over here so I can revel in those later. Here's a Matchbox car, which I have a lot of Matchbox, and I like Matchbox. Not as popular as Hot Wheels. Here's the Orange Enamel McLaren. You know, at one time we thought the Orange Enamel McLaren was a scarce item, but they're all over the place now. Of course, the Sky Show used to be the Holy Grail. But then nowadays there's so many holy grails, it's unreal. There you got a Monte Carlo stalker in not good shape. What do you got here? Oh, look at this. Here we go. Here's a winner. An orange heavy Chevy with white interior. All the stripes are missing. Somebody has taken the time to clean those off, and they did a great job. It would be better with the stripes, but this is a pretty car the way it is. Very pretty car the way it is. It's a nice shape. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. It's kind of a, I think I'll start a small collection of spoilers. That's what this series is with the uh, motors jacked up and all that. I think I'll start a small collection of spoilers with no stripes because I get them occasionally. I have a beautiful, I have a beautiful blue light my firebird I got the other day with no stripes or numbers. Another jackrabbit. And here is a demon. The demon does not get its due. It is a beautiful car, but not in every color is it beautiful. Now this one is going to, you know, the one thing I hate about the demon is you can't get that motor off and put it back on without breaking it. So you end up like, you get a really nice demon, but then you got the rubbed off pipe and you want to get a better one on there, but they just don't swap around like some of the other motors because it sticks up underneath there and that breaks off. Now this one's got beautiful wheels on it, which we had a, you know, could go on a beach bomb or something. So typically those kind of cars lose their wheels to another car. It's another apple green sand crab. So there's two of those. A lot of twosies in this collection. Twin mill, another light blue. Not really, an, it's not an ice blue. It's a light, light shade of blue, and that's in good shape, pretty good shape. Here we got another Camaro. This one's at least halfway decent. It's got most of, a lot of the black scraped off the roof, but other than that, it would have been a nice car. Somebody could maybe touch up the black. I don't do those kind of things, but some people do, and it would look, half, it would look halfway decent, but uh, I've got some young guys that collect that will that can use cars like that. All right, let's see where we're at on this so far. We've got empty trays, an empty box. We are down to four trays. Can you believe it? There's still four more trays. One, two, three, four 
trays. I cut all the sizzlers out. I got everything out of this box. I got everything out of that box. So we're down to about 40 cars left to open. So hang in there with me. I may have to stop and get something to drink because I am getting parched. Oh, hey, look at that one. Look at that sc weirdo scratch on the back. What's up with that? Oh, that reminds me. You know, I got the sprinkler running outside. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I did. I left the sprinkler on in one place for, well, like, way too long. I'm going to put all the cars left out on the table here. Hopefully, we can get this done. Not too much time because my wife's going to come home. And today, the house is probably in the biggest mess it has been in some time. I went shopping this morning to get some stuff for some projects I'm working on and brought drug all that stuff in the house and then the postman came and brought a bunch of boxes and I drug that stuff in the house and then this collection came in and I drug all, all everything out. Shelby turbine, light color interior. Got a few light color interiors lately and this one's nice with the uh, kind of a bright green paint. There's one more Oh, there we go. Light my firebird. Missing a wheel on the back there. It's got really rough paint on it. You know, to the non-collector, that looks like it's in great shape, but it's not. It's got lousy paint. Dirt everywhere. Not that I'm not happy to have it, though. I'm happy to have every red line hot wheel I can get my hands on. And here's an orange woody. Orange woody is a neat... Very neat car. You know, when you try to collect orange woodies, they, uh, well, any kind of woody, really, every single, you could get a dozen orange, well, the same thing with all Hot Wheels, really. You can get a dozen of the same color, same car, and every one of them will look completely different. Now, here's a red 512, the second one. There was one already in here, which I put, where did I put that? Hmm. I don't know where that one went off to, but I was going to give you a comparison between two of these so you could see kind of what I was talking about. Oh, here we go. That's a good example. This car is exactly the same, exactly the same color, but as you can see, they look completely different. One is dark, one is light. Can you see that? And uh, they just have a different look to them. One of them has a little toning on the across this piece but not on that piece as much and then a little bit on there this one just has a little spot and you look on the other side this one's pretty much dark all over this one's kind of light yeah, it's just a lot of variety when you're collecting hot wheels a lot of variety if you spend as much time collecting hot wheels as i have i don't know anyone who's spent more time collecting hot wheels than i have maybe mike strauss the guy who put together the original Hot Wheels Club. It still goes strong today. He might have spent more time collecting Hot Wheels, but maybe not. I've been hard at it for many, 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 many years, since the 80s. Oh, this is a good one. I always like this Baja Bruiser in blue. That's from the 74-77 period called the Flying Colors. Flying Colors, there's not a lot of collections from that period. Most of the collections are earlier. All right, here's another Evil Weevil. In good shape. Green with white interior. The white interior, I think, looks a lot better than the dark interior. And look how nice the numbers are. Hard to get really nice numbers on these cars. It really is. Even in the blister pack, they're often crooked. Here's another TNT bird. I think I have about 28 extra TNT birds right now, so that'll make 30. With those two and let's see oh look at this now here's a tow truck oh but this one is really nice look at that hmm it's got a good shine on the roof the roof see now look at that base that's a nice base did i, sh I showed you the uh snorkel that's the one that had the crumbler you see the difference there it's the same base just one's a crumbler, one's not. One is very good. This is a very good one. I like that. That will clean up really nice. I don't see any. You know, you get a little light rub on the corners. 
that's for the you know microscopic collector that looks at everything microscopically which I do oh look at that we're getting down to the ones that have the numbers scratched on them six 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 oh dear little devil ha 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 oh yes the best car in the collection right there there she is best car in the collection this is from the 1973 period I got a few nicks across there the pictures that looked mint but you know from there look at that mint car right right on right on mint car but then you go wait a minute wait 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 but sure is nice I don't even have one of these right now or oh, I should say I didn't have one five minutes ago and now I do here's a gold I hope you find my videos entertaining that was a sp splitting image because I sure like making them I get a lot of good positive feedbacks on it so I'm gonna keep doing it keep doing it but look at that there's a white enamel IndyCar or Chaparral and it's in good shape as long as these things white enamel is popular as long as it's real minty fresh they get some chips on them they just get ugly there's another orange enamel McLaren all right and here is a strip teaser strip teaser a big old blown motor on there huh? it's got the seat in it still that's good no stripes on it but it's in good shape overall put that in there oh here we got a red line Porsche this was probably one of the worst cars in the collection I I think this one was left outside yeah, you can't mind every car it's a good overall collection I like it it's fun what in the world oh, this one is horrible it's blue but it looks purple because somebody put some paint on it or some marker on it to make it look a little purpley that's number 43 I guess isn't that uh, 43 that's uh Richard Petty the king right I think that's what it is it's just another black wall that model is the three window 34 Ford it's a very nice model all right it's a Mercedes red okay all right Corvette it's a later model no big deal there put that off in the pile here's a red ambulance a red ambulance average condition Clean up nice. Got the white interior, so that'll go good with the uh, that'll go good with the tow truck. Where did I put the tow truck? As you can see now, talk about difference. This one, look how glossy that is. Very glossy. And then here's red. It's kind of a matte finish. It's kind of a satin. It's almost like they painted it with different colors. I, I think look how glossy that is. And this one's satiny. I think they just didn't care, really. At, at, to a point, anyway, they didn't care. Okay, there's one of those, Auburn 852, and Fire Chief Cruiser. This one's light red. It's really like a, several variations in the color on that. This one's a very light red. It's got one broken wheel. Something's going on here, a bunch of dirt in there or something. Maybe that's broken, but we'll get that sorted out. Here's another Python. This one is, um, hmm. This is a variation of Rose, is what this is. This is evenly toned all over to appear to be a dark rose. And here is the same car. This is a nice pair. I like that. I, I love the Pythons. These are very clean. Those are mine. I will keep those. Don't drop that. Definitely keeping those for myself. My small collection. I can't keep everything. Mustang. That's a good one. That's in good shape. It's decent shape. And uh, it'd be nice to get a whole box of Mustangs, but that's never going to happen. Here's another green Porsche. A lot of rubbing on the top there. Looks like we're going to get this done. And there's a purple bug again. Another one. No 
put that over there. Go get some trays, put all these in. Here's another sizzler. Keep that away from the cars. And here is another red barracuda. This one is like super dark. This thing is toned like nobody's business. All over, completely toned, dark. Now that, again, that's these are the same car and the same color, right? Yeah, right. And the chromes are actually not bad. About this, it's very similar, one's a little darker. But look at that difference in the color. One had a stellar paint job and one is all darkened. This one, I, both of these I'll probably, I'll clean them up, I'll put some stripe kits on them. In fact, I need to investigate stripe kits because I don't think the guy who makes the stripe kits is still making them. All right, here's the green enamel Lola. That's, uh, all right, it's a red Indy Eagle. There's probably another Indy Eagle in here. Here's a green Porsche, light green. This one's way better than the other one. It's actually pretty nice. I love these Porsches in mint condition. They In mint condition, they just sparkle and shine like a new penny. A new apple penny, I guess. And another Auburn. That's weird. Got two of those. A late model. Oh, here's a super van. With the red line tires. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. We're down to like only five cars left. Oh, no. And that one of them is a El Rey Special. 74 77 period again. Now we're down to five cars. I think that's it. I think we're getting right down to the end here. Oh, well. It's a nice send off. Bifocal. Let's see what's wrong with this one. Okay. Let's take a close look. Got a few nicks. Hood is good, sticker's good, the chrome base is good, a lot, a, a lot of these bases go bad on this, and a lot of these bodies go bad on this, got to really watch it like a hawk. Now this one has the loose wheels from the jiggle of being loose out of that plastic thing I was telling you about, both the front and rears are loose. Does not a, you know, if you display the car it's going to sit low on those wheels, so it's going to look funny, but um, yeah, yeah, that's too bad. Things like that happen. And here we got the Mantis. They're pretty color. That'll shine up nice. Get that interior cleaned up, that window. That'd be a pretty car. Or you can take the wheels off, put it on an old Sport 4 too, because they have the same wheels. Let's see, what do we got left here? We got something with a, oh, something, oh, Mighty Maverick. Um some sort of a spoiler could be a boss hoss and a paddy wagon so let's get rid of the paddy wagon first but it's a decent one all right and then the i think a boss hoss yep boss hoss missing the stripes i had put some stripe kits on one the other day and it came out looking really super duper so i, I do have to check on who's making stripes nowadays because there's several variations out there right now and uh, I had a couple different ones. One looked better than the other. All right, and another blue Mighty Maverick, and that's the last car. That's a good little car. So there it is. I think it's 164 cars, and uh, let's go over the highlights. Probably the best car in the collection was this one, Superfine Turbine, which they only made the Superfine Turbine in 1973, so it's really hard to get. And that's a nice one. I don't have one right now, so I'm going to keep that for sure. And then I love pythons. They're from 68, but they actually made them for several years. So that's why there's, you know, can be a lot of them around. They didn't just, some of the cars they made shorter period of time than other. And then I really like this. It's a lighter brown. It just has a nice glow to it. Lighter brown Lola GT70. Let's see what else. The Charger was nice. A couple of these uh, 512s, those are nice. I like those. Let's see, there was a Purple Nomad I liked a lot. I, of course, now don't get me wrong, I like every Hot Wheel. I like them all. I just like some more than others. I like the Boss Hosses. Seem to have a, sh 
I got a lot of boss hosses, but you know, heavy Chevys and King Kudas, no, those are a lot harder to get. And then over I had, uh, yeah, that looks like about it. I got a couple of uh, real nice uh, beach bombs. You got a couple of nice beach bombs. This one's nice and shiny. And uh, we'll get these going. And this is a great little collection. So thanks for sticking around. I'll uh, give you the outtake here in just a minute. And uh, appreciate you stopping by. Okay, thanks everybody. That has been the Two Brothers Redline Collection. And my largest video, longest video to date. I really had a great time making it. Of course, anytime you can receive 165 red lines in the mail or so with all the accessories and the cases and everything is really exciting, especially with two 72 car snake and mongoose cases, which are really fabulous. I just love those. Uh, it's just amazing. And so reach out to me at toycarcollector.com, David Williamson. I've always got a bunch of stuff for sale. I'm always looking to buy collections because you know I buy collections. My phone number, 503-956-3708 here in Portland, Oregon, one of the most beautiful cities on earth. And you can email me, david at toycarcollector.com. Go ahead and email me if you have any questions. And uh, thanks a lot for watching my video, and I hope you have a great day, and we will see and talk to you later.